awesome chat is brought to you by sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and listeners like you support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast Hey guys, it's the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios of Pittsburgh, PA. And this is the podcast where we talk to awesome people doing awesome things around the Pittsburgh area and beyond. Uh, everything from entrepreneurs to startup companies to video gamers to, to podcasters, as is the topic for today. We've been doing a while. You can subscribe to the Awesome Chat and the Awesome Cast over on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, as well as on uh, video versions on the Awesome Cast Facebook page and YouTube page. And if you subscribe Subscribe to that. You like that uh, uh, Facebook page? Uh, sometimes we'll pop in here with a live interview, uh, live uh, uh, you know the chat, or whatever the case may be that you can participate in as well. Or uh, you can join us here Tuesday nights when we do the regular show at 7 p.m. Eastern time over there. Um, and uh, this week, uh, and also thank you to our, our friends at Patreon.com/slash/AwesomeCast for supporting the show there. Uh, this week, I got to. Uh, the, Dig up my buddy here and uh, have a, a impromptu discussion here. I thought it'd be good to get Will Rutherford of the Panel Riot on with us. He's a, if you're a longtime Sorgatron Media podcast listener, uh, you may know him as DJ Lunchbox on the original iterations or the longtime iteration of uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, thanks for joining me, Will. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I am. I was, I was, I was, I'm all, I don't know how to podcast. I don't know why you have me on here. I can't say words. I don't know words. Well, you know, of course, you know, the, the, the history is, of course, we, we've done Wrestling Mayhem show for so long. So I don't want to get into that whole backstory about the show itself. I want to talk more about kind of how you got to the project you're in now. And obviously, we've, we've done, we play with some other things on the side, like Sawtooth Willie and things like that. Oh, uh, what? But I think it's interesting to see, like, you kind of went through a podcasting rediscovery when you struck out on your own and decided to do Panerai. Can you talk about a little bit how how you got to that spot? Sure. Um, well, I, I wanted to do something. Um, I wanted to do something that was like totally me from the ground up. The Wrestling Mayhem Show has always been a, a collaborative project um, with me and you, and and, and any number of uh, of you know, other people involved over the years. Um, and everyone, everyone very fantastic. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a hugely talented bunch of people, but, um, I just wanted to do something that was, um, that was just all me. And so I thought, what do I like as much as I like wrestling? I know comic books. So I started the show about comic books and, um, it, it it definitely gave me a new appreciation for podcasting in general, because instead of logging in for two or three hours every Tuesday night, talking for a while and then being done, now I'm logging in, talking, um, editing, producing, you know, all all of the other aspects as well, uh, which is you know the stuff that you took care of during the Wrestling Mayhem show, which I hugely respect um, and always did, but um, but now in addition to that. Uh, all of the content in the show is me from the ground up. And you get a lot of that when I don't have anything to talk about or just I'm sick of talking about whatever it was that I was talking about and just decide to go on a random tangent about beef jerky or whatever. Or I do an entire concept episode where I interview my cat and my intern. My intern doesn't talk and my cat is a cat. Um, I did an episode where um, I was being interviewed to – become an official podcast and this was the two-year anniversary of the show um and uh the the interview took place in a scenic meadow and there were sheep and it was it was a very strange episode and very little to do with comics at all so um i I just i enjoy having that freedom of you know the show can be whatever i want it to be that's awesome and and, and it's been um you know a, a pretty cool creative venture I can say between that and and you're really good about uh, you know working with the like characters. We, we we used to have a lot of characters on Wrestling Mayhem show in early iterations of it, and uh, and 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 that seems to happen. Even though it is by all accounts just you doing the podcast, there's a lot of personalities <laughs> involved. It seems that's correct. Um, we do have we have Watson who is real. He is my cat. He's real, um, and uh, we've got intern Stan who uh, who is my. Um, 
my intern from the Petri Wine family. The Petri Wine family is an entity in and of itself. Um, and uh, recently, we brought intern Jack on board, um, and uh, he, you know, interacts with Stan. They have a very like head buddy kind of relationship, and uh, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. We had we had Amelia Shells and Cheese, who. Um, who was the interviewer from the podcast Institute. And she's, she's likely to come back in the future as well. Right. Uh, and you've met the, uh, as of this recording, you're up to about 69 episodes. You had a little bit of a hiatus there, of course, That's but, right. uh, but, but as all, as all good podcasts do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell, tell me a little about it. You know, you, you're having interviews, like what is, what's kind of your, you know, there's plenty of other, other comic book podcasts, uh, classically here in Pittsburgh, of course, there's the comic book pit, uh, that do, you know, the, the their version of a, of a comic book podcast as well. Uh, what, what's your kind of approach to a comic book podcast that, that makes you different from just another comic book podcast? I like to think that I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a good, well, let me start by saying that comic book pit is an excellent podcast. Mm -hmm. I give all the credit in the world to Dan. It's, it's a great, great podcast and you know, I'm an avid listener to it, but, um, what I wanted to do was something, something a little more out there, a little stranger. And, you know, I, I do read comics, but I'm a pretty casual fan. You know what I mean? If, if you ask me, um, what issue cable first appeared in, I will not be able to tell you that. Well, I might be able to tell you that because someone posted about it today. Actually, Dan Greenwald posted about it today because they cast Josh Brolin as cable in Deadpool. It's like new mutants and then a number. See, I still can't do it. I'm not, I'm not that kind of fan. I'm, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I just wanted to do something weird and entertaining and, you know, similar to the podcasts that I listen to and the podcasts that I love, um, like absurdist comedy podcasts is mostly what I listen to. It's definitely the one of those cases, you know, because I often like, you know, go to like, yeah, I, I, I watch this, this and this as far as podcasts go. And, and that I feel comes through with my work. So uh, that, that's definitely a, a big thing there. So so from doing this uh, so far to diving into this um, uh, venture, uh, mm-hmm. what's kind of been the biggest surprise for you so far? Oh, that people have listened to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I, when I, I started with the Petri wine jokes right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And um, the story behind that is I, the old, like, you know, get buff in 15 days and, you know, all the x-ray specs and the weird ads that are in older comic books. I wanted to capture that feel in the commercials I had on the show. Um, and I used to listen to these old Sherlock Holmes uh, radio plays with Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce, and they were sponsored by Petri Wine. And the commercials that Petri Wine produced were over the top, no subtlety whatsoever, just totally bonkers. And I was like, well, I'm just going to start using these for now until I can come up with something else. And it became a running gag that we were sponsored by the Petri Wine family, and I was associated with them, and so was Stan, and and all of this stuff. And I, you know, I, I've gotten away from um, running the Petri Wine ads. But uh, I still – like the beginning of my episodes now say that they were recorded in Petri Wine Studios, which is true, which is absolutely true. I can, I can move – I don't want to mess up my camera. But I can show you I've got an original Petri Wine advertisement of a, a seal in a bow tie with a bottle of wine and a fish. Um, <laughs> but anyway, the, the, the answer, to answer, actually, answer, <laughs> actually answer your question – people that were listening to the show would make Petri wine jokes to me. And my first instinct was, how do you know about Petri wine? (laughs) Who told you about Petri wine? Where have you heard that before? The fact that they were listening and they were paying attention and these jokes were becoming running gags, not just on the show, but also with people in real life, that blew me away and made me incredibly happy. We're pulling up some old. If you if you do a search for Petri Wine, there is plenty of old material and ads, and I, I'm recognizing some of this terminology. Like the uh, like, there's this one about like a, a sontine with fish and fowl, a sherry, you know, and, and like some of the stuff that they talk about in the ads that you were talking about. Everything exactly. tastes better with Petri Wine, you know, mm-hmm. like that very old. What is that? A, a, a beaver or something going on here? Uh, yes, it's like they have another one with a mouse. I mean, it's like. The thing I see the picture that you're looking at with the beaver and it like it cuts off right 
like it looks like he has happy trails. Yeah. And it cuts off like right at the happy trails. It's very suggestive. Well, there's there's like a full bodied one that I was looking at too. Oh uh there that, that that we came across. So uh <laughs> it's definitely that for its own entertainment. I'm trying to find the one with the seal and, and everything that you were talking about. But uh, uh oh wait, is it is it a, a child hugging a seal? No. <laughs> I think hold on, it, it looks like yeah, yeah. This looks like a child did hugging you, no, maybe it's a sheep or something. Did you just do a Google search for Petri wine? Yes. Okay. It's it's the fifth one in. Fifth one in for Petri yeah. wine. One, two, three. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It's a walrus. It's a walrus. It's a walrus. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know these things. But yeah, I've got a, it's an original copy. It's got it framed on my wall. Um, and it's a gift from a couple of friends of mine who are also, who also listen to the show and are also Patreon supporters. Mm-hmm. And um, they, they actually, for Christmas one year, looked into getting me the, um, the copyright for Petri wines so that I would own it. But, um, there's there's a certain level of legality that you know it's a deep dive yeah to get that yeah so you know maybe down the line maybe as the patreon supporters build up and by the way doing very impressive with your patreon i i, I didn't realize how like you know you got a few people on there but you're bringing in 17 dollars per episode yes that- i'm I, I that you know what forget what i said before that is what shocks me the most <laughs> <laughs> Screw that they're picking up on my jokes. It's that people are giving me money yeah. to do this. So, wonderful, wonderful people. I it, love them all. And as we say on the show, on a scale of one to ten, they're the best. And you, you're one of them as well. I am. I am. I try to support uh, our, our friends here on the on the network. And pa- Panel Ride is part of the Sorgatron Media uh, Podcast Network here. And so we share a lot of uh, you know, kind of sharing, you know, kind of promotions and everything like that um I, and i think that you know it's like oh 17 for a podcast that's not much it's like but that's a lot that people have put money into it i know it's it's, it's friends and everything like that but also you're seeing you, you're telling me lately you know the people i don't know are contributing to this and and and, and communicating with us and everything mm-hmm. and that's kind of a you know seeing that grow beyond is, is kind of a really cool thing this thing to see um so we're what what kind of tips do you have for people kind of starting a podcast? Um, well, I, I tend to disagree with the common wisdom of getting started is the hardest part. Because getting started, starting a podcast is super easy. You sit down and you talk for one hour, you record it and you put it up, right? Mm-hmm. Doing that again and again on a regular schedule consistently and always having something new to talk about and being entertaining that is the hardest part. Screw you, Chris Hardwick, about how the easiest thing is getting started. No, no, no. No. The starting is the easy part. But so to that end, I will I'll give the advice of if you're gonna start a podcast, pick a topic that you love and you can talk about consistently and you have no problems with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I also want to say that I've learned that having frequent guests on your show or having someone else on the show uh is it, it just makes the whole process a lot easier because if someone has an off day or an off week or whatever, and the other person can pick it up, then, you know, it helps. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, what, what's, what's coming up in the future for panel, right? What are your kind of goals, uh, uh, as far as how far you go with this as a podcast, any cool stuff coming up? Well, um, Pittsburgh is a convention town now. We've got Steel City Con, and we've got you know Three Rivers Convention. Um, and uh, I've uh, I've been asked to speak on a panel at uh, at Three Rivers. Um, I don't know any details about that yet, or even if I'm supposed to mention it. So <laughs> all I can say is that someone asked me, and I said I would. So um, so there. Uh, I'm going to continue doing uh, Panel Riot. I'm trying to do it as a weekly show, but I have some other projects, so it, it doesn't always happen that way. Mm-hmm. I've been upping my um, Patreon exclusive content lately. I started a series called uh, Batman Reads Comments on Wholesome Recipes. <laughs> um, and uh, they requested that I do uh, some YouTube comments, so I'm going to get into that. Uh, I'm going to start a series where um, I watch episodes of the X-Men the Animated Series from the 90s and uh, do a quick – do like little short commentaries on that. And, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm excited to see where it takes me. I've been meaning to update the graphics for a very long time. 
Um, I want to start making more public appearances, going to conventions and things like that. Um, and, uh, I think, you know, we talked a lot about that doing, doing more stuff with Sorgatron media, holding down the table, doing live, you know, remote broadcasts and everything like that. I'm just excited to keep doing something that I love doing and that other people love as well. It's nice. It's a good feeling. Awesome. Please go check it out. It's 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 deeply entertained. I don't know how many books I picked up from the library or picked up a trade uh, paperback uh, or borrowed from a friend because I heard uh, uh, Will talking about on his podcast. It's one of those I love shows, and I think this is a key to a lot of podcasts, is, is y- y- having an undying knowledge and love for a subject that you can't run out of things to talk about with. I think that's why that's why we started a wrestling show. That's why we started a tech show. That's why I think uh, this is perfect with Panel Riot, and I think it's something that everybody should check out. And even if you're modestly interested in comic books, I think it's interesting enough that you could maybe it could maybe move you into some comics. So maybe look up some subjects, or or I know you do like, like interesting grab bags sometimes on the podcast as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This this they've come to arrest me. <laughs> you <laughs> mentioned time. the grab bags and the cops are like, get him. That's that's the cue. That's the cue. That's the safe word. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, b- before things get hairy over there, thank you so much. Check them out. Panelriot.com. DJ Lunchbox on the Twitter. Panel Riot on the Twitter as well. And yes, pa- that's correct. Pa- Patreon.com slash Panel Riot. Will Rutherford. Thank you for joining us. Longtime friend. Longtime podcaster. Thanks, Sorg. All around good guy. Uh, check out all the rest of the interviews we do in Awesome Chat, awesomecast.net.com. I got to get used to saying that. As well as, uh, you know, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash awesomecast. If you like the things that we're talking about here on the show, you want to help us grow. We're doing some fun things like the awesome tips. We finally got a couple of those out there that we were working on a, a few months ago. And uh, should we do more of that kind of stuff? Should we do more of this kind of stuff? Who should we talk about on this show? Talk to on this show. Uh, let us know at awesomecast on Twitter or all the links over at awesomecast.com. Uh, thank you to my awesome guest. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.